And so I've been monitoring the sun since then. So from April to May, we had a total of 10 days of sun. Very cloudy. And then on top of it, which is very strange for our neck of the woods, it's been extremely cold. But that's past because now it's June. And June in Kansas means heat. And it's here, the sun's here, and now finally the plants are growing. Here we go, as you can tell. Here's the end of our vine. Way back there is the beginning. Very long, but you can also tell our secondaries. They're just starting to get really growing here. And unfortunately, you want to have a bigger plant. In some of my past years, I've had humongous plants. Not the case this year, but that's the way it goes. And here, we'll go check it out, is our very first potential guy on it. He's sitting at 13 feet. I will keep this one um, as a backup. Uh, hopefully, there's another one sitting on the tip there that's going to land around the 17, 18, 18, 19 foot range. That will be the one that I want to use as my main pumpkin. But in case this one doesn't, that one doesn't produce, it will be this one here as the main one. So I'm going to be as careful with this one as I am with that one back there. And I can tell from yesterday it's grown. Um, this one here was a five lober. It was not very nice looking, and it was pollinated yesterday, which was June 3rd. So I always like to take the petals off so that it can breathe. And as you can see in there, there you go, look at it. It's not uniformed. So I would like to use this as a backup. However, you just don't know what your main one's gonna do. You can see their side vines are growing. Back here where it first started, there isn't many side vines going yet. They're just getting going. They're just getting started. I don't get nervous. They look a little funky when they first start. But once this plant gets rooted in real well, those things will take off and they'll they'll grow twice as fast as the other side vines do so they'll they'll fill in this area real quick over here i mean it needs filled in but when you don't have sun generally you're not going to get side vines unless you have a way of really producing a whole lot of light for your plant so this one here is the 1989.5 deletus and it was crossed with the 2416 haste plant up here uh this one here this plant has not been growing as fast as far as the main vine goes the side vines on this one are actually more it's hard they're just getting going at the moment so it's hard to really tell but the side vines on this one here these two here are slow but they're coming in good you can see back there they're all starting a uh, week from today. They'll probably be almost filled in this whole area. This whole area back over here will be filled in a long way. So we'll start terminating vines here probably in 10 days. So it doesn't take long once with our heat, once they get growing. And it has produced one female that I had to take off earlier at about seven feet. And now the main one here, is if you can tell, right there, is sitting at probably gonna land somewhere around the 16 foot range. So that one will definitely be the one that we wanna keep. The plant isn't as big as I want it to be, but that's just gonna have to be the way that it is this year. If you don't have sun, your plant isn't gonna be filled in. Hopefully all you other guys are having a good season so far, good start to your season. There's a good look and I will try to keep the videos coming a little bit more often. All right, we'll see you guys.